I'm Valerie Waters with the Live Strong Woman and the A-List Look. And today I have for you when you think you can't work out. And it's especially designed for those days when, well, you think you can't. You're too tired, you're too stressed, you just think you can't get it done. This workout is for you. It's gonna keep you on your path, it's gonna tone you head to toe, and you're gonna be so happy that you did it. So if you're ready, let's get started. I've got a kettlebell, a pair of dumbbells, a mat, and I'm gonna be using something for balance in a little bit. Our first workout is a sumo squat. I'm gonna turn my toes slightly out. Now, this kettlebell is fairly heavy, and you can go a little lighter, a little heavier, but remember this workout is for when you think you can't do it. And what I wanna do is just wake up all your muscles, and I find that by actually using a fair amount of weight, it's more comfortable than if you were to just do some floor work or what have you. This kind of wakes everything up. So here we are, toes turned out, chest is up, take it straight down, push through those heels, squeeze your butt on the way up, that is one. Two, we're going to 15, three, four, five, six. This workout will wake you up. It's gonna make you feel really good. So even if you think you can't work out, you're gonna find, you're gonna get through this, you're gonna feel great, loving, and you're gonna stay on your path. That's 12, 13, 14, and 15. I'm gonna set that down. Now carefully, when you're using a heavy weight, you wanna bend those knees, okay? And I'm gonna pick up my lighter dumbbells. I'm going bent over row with a twist. Palms face my legs, and I'm gonna turn and squeeze, so I'm gonna really Row that up and get a nice squeeze in my mid back. Three, I'm going to 12. Four, five, six, seven. If you spend too much time in the computer chair, like I do, you will appreciate this exercise. 10, 11, one more. Oh, that's so good. Bend your knees, set it down. We're gonna go to a lunge kick. Now, I know you can do this exercise on your own without any extra stability. We're gonna use a little bit of chair because again, this is from one of those days where you just, maybe you're a little distracted, maybe you're tired too. We still wanna get that workout in. So this is just adding in a little bit of stability. Now, if you're doing this workout on a day that you feel strong, then just put your hands here, like that, okay? But I'm gonna use this. Eight, I'm still gonna get my 15 reps though. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Really good. Go ahead and switch legs. Chest is up. Now I'm looking to get my heart rate up. So, and your heart rate up. So if you hear me start to breathe, it means the workout's doing its job. Four. Five, good, six, and remember, if you wanna challenge yourself a little bit more, just put your hands here, okay? 11, there's no judgment on it, 12. If you wanna hold on, it's okay. 13, 14, and 15. It's all about consistency. I don't want you to miss a workout because you're a little tired, you know? Now I'm gonna come down here for push-ups. And again, now normally, I'd probably have you do full push-up position. This is one of those workouts for when you just think you can't do it, so it's okay to come to your knees. We're going for 10. But we still want strict form, so abs tight. You're gonna look down. Three, four, lock it out, five, six, Seven, try to get low to the floor. Eight. And 10, really good. Now lie on your back. We're going into a single leg glute bridge. I love this exercise. One leg goes up in the air, working the leg that's bent, going to 15, ready? One, press that foot straight up. Four, five. Feel that? So good. 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, and 15. Switch legs and go. One, two, so we're working our glutes. Five, that's perfect. Six, seven, and squeeze. Eight, 10, 11, 12, two more. One more, that's so good. Now just give that a quick hug in like that. Release those legs, you're gonna put them down. And then you're gonna take one leg, you're gonna bring it back up in the air and we're gonna do a two-way crunch. Hands go behind your head. I'm taking my elbow to the outside of the knee first for 10. One. Four, and keep trying to reach up. Six, seven, eight, and 10, and right into twisting the other way. Three, good, nice and high. Six, eight, nine, and 10, that was perfect. Switch legs. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, six, seven, and 10, other side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, keep going, you're almost there. Eight, nine, and 10, well done. Now you might wanna give that a little stretch. Reach overhead. Really good job. I want you to take a quick sip of water, have a little break, and you're gonna do the circuit two more times. And then just call it a day. And this workout, just remember, this is that workout for when you really just think that you can't, but you get it done and you feel amazing for having done it and you feel proud of yourself that you did. So just remember, just show up, get it done, and you will always feel better. I'm Valerie Waters, and you are just one workout away from a good mood.